Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you today from the city of Belleville, Wisconsin. It is at this location that we are going to ride the final section of the Badger State Trail, uh, which is this trail right over here. This is the trailhead in Belleville. They have a parking lot here and they have uh, one of those uh, kiosk slash picnic table combos. At the Belleville trailhead here, uh, according to the map that I was looking at, there was supposed to be a restroom here. I typically don't like starting a trail from a location that doesn't have a restroom. Uh, though when we explored this area in here, uh, there is definitely no restroom here currently. So at this point, all we have here is uh, the parking lot and uh, the kiosk here. Uh, I should also note that this is one of those trails that you have to pay for. You need the trail pass uh, and they have the little station over there to pay for the trail ride. So according to my notes here, starting at the Belleville Trailhead, uh, looks like we're about nine miles from the Sugar River State Trail. Uh, so that's where we're headed first, headed south. And then we're gonna get right back to this location here in Belleville. And then we're gonna venture 12 and a half miles north uh, to where the Badger State Trail ends, uh, right by the Southwest Bike Path. There's a bunch of other bike paths right over there by that trail intersection too. So Belleville is not centrally located, uh, but it's as close as I could find. Uh, so right now uh, we're north of the Stewart Tunnel. So when we start heading south here, uh, there's gonna be a detour that we explore here. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to check out the Stewart Tunnel because it's still closed, uh, but we're gonna check out the detour. And then we're gonna make our way all the way down to the Sugar River State Trail uh, in the Monticello area. We're probably gonna stop there uh, back at the Pink Heifer and then hop back on the trail and start making our way north. The kiosk in Belleville has a map here of the entire trail. Uh, so we're right up here in Belleville. Uh, our previous ride, we started in Monroe and made our way down to the state line, then made our way up to Monticello. So today we're gonna go from Belleville down to Monticello and then back up to Bel Belleville. And then uh, we're gonna take it to right up uh, where the trail ends. It's shout out time. A quick shout out to Mr. Stones and Terrell Teeter for giving me information about the Badger State Trail before we rode out there. And a special shout out to my viewers in the United Kingdom. Cheers. Pretty damn good, that! So, let's check out this section of the Badger State Trail. All right, so this is uh, where the Stewart Tunnel is currently gated off. They have two separate detours here. Uh, you're given an option. They have a purple route and a blue route. Uh, one follows Tunnel Road for 2.15 miles. 
uh, hilly back roads and tight turns make for poor sight lines. And the Blue Route, uh, Tunnel Road, uh, County Highway CC, and Exeter Crossing Road for 3.47 miles. Better sight lines, but heavier traffic. We just saw a gentleman here uh, who is much more familiar with this area than I am. So, and he recommended taking the Tunnel Road route. Uh, so this is Tunnel Road North. Uh, so we're just gonna head up this way and uh, follow the detour. Also, the gentleman we were speaking to said uh, that the tunnel is about a quarter of a mile this way. Uh, as you could see, uh, there are, people are definitely going to it because uh, all of the grass is packed down uh, in this certain area over here. All right, so here's the other side of the Stewart Tunnel detour. Uh, they have it blocked off over here. Uh, the gentleman we spoke to on the other side said it's about three quarters of a mile to the tunnel from this point, uh, what he was guessing. Uh, so at this point, we're just gonna turn around and make our way back towards Monticello.
All right, so we've made it to the trail intersection between the Badger State Trail and the Sugar River State Trail. Uh, we were just at this intersection a few weeks ago when we did the southern half of the Badger State Trail. Uh, so at this point, if you continued on the Badger State Trail, it's 18 miles this way to the Jane Adams Trail. And then the trail continues on another 17 point something miles. Uh, definitely a good ride there. Uh, this right here is the Sugar River State Trail. Uh, if we head this way, we're going to make it all the way down 16 miles to Broadhead. And uh, headed this way, it looks like we're about seven miles to New Glarus, uh, right where the Sugar River State Trail starts on the northern end. So at this point, uh, before we start making our way back to Belleville, uh, we're just going to ride into Monticello one more time. Uh, we're going to stop at the Pink Heifer. Uh, we really liked that place the last time we were here. Uh, we're going to grab a drink to cool off because uh, it is uh, pretty damn hot today. Uh, we're already in the low 90s, and with the high humidity, uh, the heat index is pretty high. We're under some sort of heat advisory for today. Uh, so again, we're just going to head into Monticello, uh, grab a quick drink, and then come right back here to this trail intersection, and then make our way back north. After a brief break in Monticello, uh, as you can see, we're back at the trail intersection here between the Sugar River State Trail and the Badger State Trail. Uh, so we are going to make our way about nine miles or so back to Belleville. Uh, at this point, all of the water that I have with me is quite warm, so I'm going to swap that out for some cold water from our cooler. And then uh, we're going to start the north section of this ride for today. As you saw, we checked out this new place called uh, King's Bar and Grill. Uh, currently, they are not in grill mode as uh, the new owner uh, is not set up yet uh, for the grill. So there's no food there at this moment. Uh, but they do have plenty of drinks uh, and they're definitely nice people. So definitely worth checking out. So let's make our way back to Belleville. Just as an FYI, uh, we're making a video here, obviously. So we took it all the way to the end at the trail intersection and back. And when we stopped in Monticello and made our way back, uh, I wanted to obviously start the video from back there. But if you are not making a video and your goal is just to go to Monticello, you could cut right across here. As you could see here, we dipped down to go back to the trail intersection before we went back up. But if your goal is just to go into that little downtown of Monticello, you just head right down this street right here.
All right, so we are back at the detour uh, for the Stewart Tunnel being shut down currently. Uh, so what we tried before was the purple route, which involved Tunnel Road and all the hills and back roads. Uh, the blue route involves Tunnel Road to County Highway uh, CC and Exeter Crossing Road. Uh, looks like it's a little, little longer, but it says it has better sight lines but heavier traffic. So just to see what that looks like, uh, we're going to give that detour a try. This is the intersection of Tunnel Road and Exeter Crossing Road. So if you were actually uh, heading from the south and you decided to do the blue detour, uh, there's no point in making it all the way to Tunnel Road like we just did, because we just crossed Exeter Crossing Road on the trail uh, just a bit down there. So you could actually just turn on Exeter Crossing Road, start heading this way uh, to County Highway CC. We are back at Tunnel Road where the trail is closed this way, so we're just going to continue making our way down the trail towards Belleville. Uh, is now that we've experienced both of the detours, I gotta say I like the first detour more, although it seemed like there were more hills. Uh, so if you are on an e-bike, uh, in fact, if you're on an e-bike going on either of the detours, be prepared to use up a lot of juice because there's some decent uphills and downhills either way. Uh, the tunnel roadway is more fun and uh, definitely is more scenic, so keep that in mind. And I don't think we really had that many cars by us.
All right, so after a quick break, uh, we're back in Belleville here, and we're going to start making our way north. Again, I guess the biggest problem I find with parking here is the lack of a restroom, even though the map had indicated there is one right here. So I don't know if this area is just under construction or if there's normally a porta potty here that isn't, but there definitely isn't a restroom here. Uh, so it uh, looks like we're going to have to track one down in Belleville before we start heading north on the trail. Well, as you saw, we had to take a slight diversion to find a restroom. Uh, that restroom is right here in Belleville Community Park. Uh, this park here, uh, lots of water around it all the way around. Uh, so definitely worth checking out. I also see a little path here. I have no idea where it goes. And uh, somewhere over this way on the other side of the restrooms, I saw a bridge. Uh, so that's something we're definitely gonna check out either now or at the end of the ride. Unless Belleville decided to put a porta potty or something there, if I were to ride this trail again, I'd actually just start it from here. Uh, it's definitely more scenic, and uh, there's definitely more amenities right here uh, than there are right at the trailhead. As always, when given an opportunity, let's take a moment to recognize old glory. Definitely not much of a breeze, but standing proudly nonetheless.
Well, right at mile marker six, as you saw, there is a trailhead here with trail parking and a kiosk, although I did not see a porta potty or anything. So it's at this point, uh, one of the gentlemen we talked to earlier in this ride had told us that as soon as we got about six miles uh, towards the end of the trail that it starts going paved. So looks like it's gonna be paved starting here in Fitchburg uh, on uh, to mile marker zero. So at this point, according to uh, all trails, is where the Badger State Trail ends because any further than this is the Southwest Bike Path. Uh, we just crossed a bridge. Right below that bridge is a big trail intersection between the Cannonball Path, the Capital City State Trail, and the Military Ridge Path. So it looks like this turn over here is basically like an on-ramp to where the big uh, trail intersection is that we went over on that bridge. So we're gonna ride down there just to check out that and then start making our way back. All right, so we've made it to the big trail intersection here. There's a lot going on here. So Badger State Trail would be this way. That's the way we're gonna go. Cannonball Path looks like you could pick up this way. The Southwest Path would be this way, and then you'd have to make a right. Uh, Military Ridge Path looks like it's probably this way. And the Capital City State Trail. So I was hoping to see a mile marker zero sign for the Badger State Trail. I did not see one. So let's do a quick map update here. So uh, we're right here, so the Badger State Trail. Uh, there's the Cannonball Path, Capital City State Trail, also this way, Military Ridge Path. Uh, so there's a, definitely a lot of options when you are riding in this area. According to this, they're saying we're 14 and a half miles uh, back to Belleville. I actually think it's a little less than that. 45 miles to the Jane Adams Trail. I'm not sure which of these trails require a fee, but uh, you could definitely do that in this box here. So the map on this side here uh, again shows we are here. Uh, if you saw my, our previous Capital City State Trail ride, which was a couple years back, I believe, uh, Dolly Conservancy is where we parked and we picked up the little side trail here which connected to the Capital City State Trail and then we took it to the end and then we made our way through downtown Madison.
All right, so we are back in Belleville, and that does it for the Badger State Trail. Uh, again, here, there are basically uh, no amenities here. They do have a map, and uh, I guess they have a garbage can over this way and some benches, but uh, again, no restroom. So when you start in Belleville, uh, when you're heading south, uh, when you get to uh, Monticello, uh, you definitely have a lot of choices uh, for a place to stop, grab a drink, or eat. Though when you are heading north from this direction, uh, there's not a lot. Uh, in fact, I don't recall seeing a single restroom. There were a couple porta potties in some road construction area, but I imagine those are more for uh, the construction workers as opposed to uh, trail riders. That six mile paved portion in Fitchburg uh, was uh, in real really good shape, uh, which was nice to see. If there are big uh, areas uh, in need of work, uh, they have them spray painted, or at least the vast majority of them spray painted in white to point them out while you're riding so you can avoid them. Let me know what you think of the trail in the comments below. If you have ridden this trail and you have a favorite spot on it, definitely know where that favorite spot is because we're definitely going to be riding this trail again in the future. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. If you are interested in supporting this channel and helping us get to more trails, please consider a super thanks. And that's all I got today from the Badger State Trail. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.